Alamo City Comic Con 2015. I'm Marcellus, otherwise known as the Geek Father. And we're here with the legendary and excellent Edward James Almost. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good because I'm here with the Geek uh, Avengers here. He looks like a Geek Avenger, right? He is. Don't tell people about our alter egos. we got to keep it on the down low. So we almost had a much different year. I obviously known as Adama, like the greatest dude ever. You know, you, you the battle star. I love it. But you were almost in a different captain. You turned down the actual role in Next Generation. They wanted you for, like, Picard's role. He, he, yeah. You turned that down. Yeah, I mean, at the time when I was doing it, I was working, I was doing other things, so I, I had to pass on it, yes. So you no regrets on that, huh? You just... I wouldn't have been able to do Battlestar had I done that. I know, we and I'm out. very, very grateful that I got to do Battlestar. But you would have been here as you know, you would have been like Captain Juan Lucas Ricardo or something. You know, <laughs> I don't think they were that hip yet. You no, know, they weren't. Probably not. I mean, I, it's enough that uh, Battlestar was really hip. I mean, Adama is as close as you're going to get, man, to the Latino root of hey, dude, uh, humanity. Hey, dude, he was the guy, man. <laughs> he came in, he dropped that Battlestar all down in the atmosphere. You were just like, let's do it. <laughs> Boom, and you went to, ah, man, right in the atmosphere. I lost I my loved, mind. I did too, man. Yeah, I enjoyed, man. I enjoyed their special effects. Yeah, they were pretty good. So uh, how do you like in San Antonio so far? I love it, man. I think this is one of the best Comic-Cons I've ever been to, only because of the quality of the people. My God, uh, I'm over oh, overwhelmed. Oh man, huh? a lot of emotion here. Maybe it's because 85 to 90 percent are Latino, and uh, man, but I mean, there's a lot of laughing, a lot of hugging, a lot of crying, a lot of emotion. People, it's amazing. It's amazing. You I interviewed Stanley last year. It was a little uh, bit of yeah, tears. Of course, yeah. of course. It's like a bucket list. I know? know. I mean, he's one of the giants. Yeah, he he's is. here again, man. He is. We saw his panel He's like floating, floating around here, man. I can't yeah. tell you. It so drives me nuts. You use your platform in acting as, you know, on a social scale, social activism. And then that's always awesome to see how you do that. What's, what's the impetus behind that? Just... Well, basically, I mean, the more you give, the more you receive. That's the basics of understanding your life. But it really becomes a situation where you have to stay in balance. When you receive so much in your lifetime, uh, you get off balance. And if you don't give more than you receive, you're going to be really off balance. So I highly recommend that you take a look at all the major, major, whether it be artists, whether it be People who have really become successful in any way are always, always giving back to the community. And there's a reason for that. It keeps you humble and makes you understand your life better. And it makes you a better artist. I agree wholeheartedly. Well, thank you very much for your time, sir. This has been a pleasure and an honor. Captain Adama, baby. Hey, Admiral Adama. Remember one thing, man. Just remember one thing. You're watching Geek Vengers. So say we all. So say we all. Thank you very much, sir.